Hello and welcome to another Raggies Beer Review. So we're going over to More Beer Company. I actually had some of their, um, I'm not sure if it was a stout the other week to be honest. Uh, for their Illumination Best Bitter, 4.3%. Got it from, sure it was low cost beer, aka Smiling Grape. So Illumination, that light at the end of the tunnel illuminates your journey. How started with the rawest form of the, in the untraditional best bitter. Today we find ourselves setting off in a new direction that is even more welcoming, like a pub fire after a long walk. Uh, based in Bristol, like a pub fire. Pub fire as in, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think. What's good about a pub fire? Why, why? you know. And uh, thinking that a pub's on fire, you know. It's been a long day. Yeah. Sometimes you have to read something twice and then, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Uh, uh, I don't know. Stupid says it, stupid does. Oh, I'd say like a dark golden colour to that, a uh, centimetre of, just under a centimetre of white head. Plenty of carbonation going off, illumination. So, I'm getting citrus on the nose. Yeah, it's looking more like a golden pool, actually, to be fair. Right, cheers all. I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure it was a stout they had the other week. At the Crown Inn in Beeston. If memory serves me correctly. Obviously. I drank a fair, I drink a fair few beers, so. If he says. Yeah, it's got a nice bite to it. Um, I've got till July to, to, to rid the beer wall of all the beers and start again. And that's why I'm not buying any beers. Still doing beer reviews, obviously, because I'm going out at the weekend and, and having the odd beer and, uh, and that. But uh, yeah, we're going to have a total um a redo with a beer wall so uh as in different beers new beers yes nice easy drinking um best bitter i mean say it is a best bitter it's a, it's a modern interpretation of a best bitter uh, I would expect a best bitter to be slightly more like coppery sort of colour. Um, a little bit. A little bit nutty or something, you know, on the taste. So, yeah, it, for me, this is a modern interpretation. Obviously from Bristol, so, you know, there's quite a few that good breweries in Bristol. Um, and certainly easy drinking. Just finished uh, another 11 hours at work, so uh, yeah, I need a beer. Been in the rain, someone's walking across my roof, sounds like a bird this time. Been in the rain, the sun, and uh, literally stuff's growing like the absolute clappers. Um, just get my hair cut tonight. Um, might be a job for me to do. Yeah, I think I will. But anyway, yeah. Um, yeah, it's enjoyable. Um, I can't think what I was going to say now.
And as you can see, it's settled down now. Slightly hazy, so yeah, it's, you know, it's, um, I would call it a modern interpretation of Best Bitter. And uh, that's good, you know. Um, these days, every single style seems to have about 50 different versions of it. Um, who would have thought the old IPA would have, would have gone into so many versions all them years ago when they first brought it out? Uh, for whatever reason, they brought it out in back in the day. I can't remember, I can't remember the old reason to do it in there, obviously. But, um, yeah. Uh, for me, it's a nice, easy drinking, best bitter. Um, first beer for more in can. So happy about that. See, obviously, I tasted cask. Uh, or was it keg? I'm sure, it was cask. Um, but yeah, good 4.2 out of 5 for me. Thank you for watching. See you soon.